Let's do it. What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. Man, I got a big ass bag right here, man. <laughs> you know what? The bag is actually it's 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 big, but it ain't that big. It's it's really deceptive. This is a 40 liter bag. Oh, the main compartment is supposed to be 40 liters, but this is like, I don't know, 60 liters worth of bag we got here. I can't wait to get into it, man. This is the Wow Box Duffel upgraded version. So they have a previous version, which has darker flaps, which I'll compare it to briefly in a moment. Uh, it has darker leather flaps. Uh, these actually have leatherish flaps. I don't know if this is real leather or not, but uh, these are not the darker ones. Um, but yeah, the shoe compartment is different. And yeah, there's just so many different things about this bag. So for those of you looking for the other bag, the one that is not upgraded, uh, I've done a previous video on that. So you can go check that out uh, after you finish this one. Finish this one, man, I need that watch time. But this one's been upgraded and I gotta show you some stuff about it uh, that just stands out, man. Look, okay, so first of all, this is full capacity. I'm a 240 pound, five foot, 10 inch tall man. And this thing like, it it just takes over my body, okay? So the bag is large, but it's not that big. It's still a carryable bag by any female, uh, as long as you don't, you know, weight it down with a bunch of stuff, but it just packs in so much stuff. It punches way above its weight class. But first we gotta talk about this quality, man. One thing I love about Wowbox is that they invest into good materials. I haven't had a problem with any of their zippers. Um, these are huge zippers and they're all around the bag. Every zipper you see is going to be this big and they just glide so easily. Let me unsnap this leatherish strap right here so you can actually snap that strap or unsnap it. But let's get to this zipper right here because that's what I want to talk about. That, you see that? You hear that smooth? It's so smooth, man. It's like buttery smooth. But let's just go ahead and close it up because I want to talk about some other materials. I love the color of this gray. This gray, uh, from what I'm looking at and what I'm seeing in the camera right now, this is a pretty accurate representation of the gray. I know that's troublesome sometimes on, inter uh, on the internet, but this is the this is the most accurate representation of the gray I've seen. And I, I just like the vintage look of this canvas, man. Then you got these, uh, these nylon straps right here. This is uh, very sturdy. All the stitching in the bag is done very well. I really like the choice of materials that they used. Can't say any more about it without just bragging too much. It's not like I made the bag or nothing, but they did a really good job. All right, so let's get into uh, let's get into the side compartment. Where's that side compartment? Okay, so this one right here. Now you see that right there? You got this grab handle right here. You see this? Okay, so this grab handle is stitched very well and it's got a little uh, leatherish accent right there. But the reason why I like it is because it's stitched very well and it's made of good materials because this bag can weigh quite a bit, like, I don't know, 30, 40 pounds if you pack it down. If you need to, you can't snatch this bag up by this one handle and feel secure that your bag is not gonna fall on the floor and you'll just be left with a handle in your hand. But right here, you got your luggage tag right there, which is a nice touch that way, you know, if somebody else has the same bag, uh, you can easily identify yours. But let's get into the pocket. You know what, before we do that, since the strap is here and I wanna take it off, let's go ahead and talk about this strap right here. So you got your little hook, which you can unclasp and is it connected? Is it connected? Okay, good. So you can just take that off just like that. The shoulder strap actually does have a little pad right here, which is made of the same canvas material, but on the flip side, the part that meets your body is ventilated and it is padded very well. So, you, and you can slide it up and down. It's not in a fixed position, which is always a welcomed addition. Let's get into this big old pocket right here. So this pocket, can you see this pocket? This pocket goes the full size of the side of the bag. So this pocket is freaking humongous. Now this pocket probably could fit a 13 inch laptop. I mean, I'm not gonna advise you put your laptop in here because it's not a padded bottom, but it's big as that big. It's, man, you can fit like a day's worth of clothes in here if you needed to. But right now I have stuffed in here, just a small notebook and uh, this uh, Galaxy Tab S4 right here. This is a 10 inch tablet, so that'll fit with plenty of room to go. I mean, look how big that pocket is. That's the outside pocket right there. On the opposite side, we have the shoe compartment, which we'll get into last because I'm gonna blow your mind with the shoe compartment, man. Okay, so let's go to the front now. You see the front pockets right there? These are another addition that I really like. This is not part of the upgrade. Uh, it's just th these pockets are freaking massive, but they're so stylish. They don't look as big as they really are because how because of how good they look. So you got this leatherish flap right here, and then these are not actual buckles. Okay, so yeah, you can unbuckle them, just like this. But now this comes off. So 
you need to use the quick release uh, magnetic mechanism that they've got built into this. So leave this here, because this is just for fashion, man. This is what makes these pockets look so good. So leave that attached right there, and then you can just kind of use that magnetic clasp like that, okay? So just do it like that. And then we're gonna open this bad boy up and see what's in it. All right, get in there so you can see. A full size set of over ear headphones. Man, look, this pocket, this, this pocket. This is so big. That is a huge pocket. So a full size set of headphones can go in there. Uh, shoot, I don't know. Just lots of stuff can go in there, man. It's a huge pocket. Then we go over to the next one, which is the exact same size. Let me see what I put in this one. I just stuffed this bag with as much stuff as I could find laying around here just to do this video for you guys. There's my Osmo 3. So, and this is a bulky item on all dimensions. So you can sit that in there with the uh, the tripod and some other stuff, man, because these pockets are identical, but they're stinking huge. Now let's get to the shoe compartment. Now, typically I try to travel with the least amount of shoes possible. If I'm wearing boots, um, I wear them on my feet and then put my smaller shoes inside of the bag, okay? And I don't be don't, don't be that guy or girl who travels without like shoe bags, okay? You don't want your nasty shoes in the bag with your clothes and stuff. You need a specific shoe bag and Wowbox actually gives you one, okay? Or a dedicated shoe compartment. That's freaking nasty. Going into public restrooms and, and walking all over the place and then you put those shoes, the soles of the shoes in the back. Don't get me started on the germs, okay? Now, Wildbox has actually provided you with a shoe bag. And they say this is a waterproof compartment. Um, I wouldn't challenge the waterproofness of it. I mean, it is, it is seems like a waterproof or at least heavily water resistant material in here, but I don't know if I would challenge waterproof, but they do include this shoe bag right here. And I'm not gonna take these shoes out just yet because I want you to see what I've done in here as far as packing. I'm a master freaking packer. I'm like the champion of Tetris when it comes to packing. Okay, so I've got a size, I'm a size 12, okay? I got a size 12 boot in here and a size 12 dress shoe in here. But we gonna button this back up because I'm not ready to show you these shoes just yet because I wanna amaze you with the main compartment. Before we get there though, before we get there, let's take a trip around the back of the bag where we have this nice sleek compartment. You know, it's not a bulky compartment like the front two. This is just something you can keep your passport in or something like that. I just decided to throw my phone in there. Let's throw that off to the side. But yeah, it's, it's a nice wide pocket where you can keep your travel documents. And as you wear the bag, it's gonna be on your side, close to you. So you can just slide your hand in there, break out your boarding pass or your passport or whatever, zip it up nice and quick. Like now we get to the start of the show, the main compartment. Now I need to, yeah, let me adjust that just right. Okay, here we go. You ready? You ready? Here we go. So yeah, look at that, man. I've packed this with three days worth of clothes and I'm talking blue jeans and thick hoodies. Okay, so I got three hoodies right here. One, two, three, and they are my winter clothes. Texas winter clothes, okay? I live in Texas. I mean, in Texas, we are seriously complaining around 45 degrees here, okay? So that's Texas winter. This is Texas winter gear right here. Thick sweatshirts and, and sweaters. And then I have the wild box uh, toiletry bag right here. Now I didn't fill it with my toiletries. This is actually socks. I just filled it with, for dimension. But yeah, this is the wild box toiletry bag. Uh, this is it's just as nice as all their other stuff, man. It's got that. This is actually feels like real leather on this one. It's got that canvas or that nylon in the in the strap there. Same type of zippers. See my socks. I told you I wasn't lying. But it's just an open compartment. It's not a compartmentalized uh, toiletry bag. I just wanted to show it off to you because it's, it's pretty fly. It actually just matches the bag. Now, as a master packer, I know it's important to either use uh, packing cubes or roll up your jeans, man. I actually learned that from the military. Uh, shout out to all my military personnel, specifically the Marine Corps. Hoorah! So you just roll them jeans up, right? That's one pair of jeans, two pair of jeans, three pair of jeans. Now, your chonies underwear for those of you non-Spanish speaking people, your chonies and your socks, they will fit in here. I just didn't feel like displaying that on YouTube for the world to see. But that's all I put in here. Now, there is other room in here. There's, <laughs> there was other room in here. I just chose to put those items in here. But check it out. So this is the shoe compartment. Now, typically, like I said, I travel light with, when it comes to shoes. I usually just wear my boots and then stuff in like a pair of shoes in my bag so I can save room. But with this bag, there's so much room. I got two pair of shoes in here and I still had that much room to put all that stuff in. And bonus, they give you these two pockets right here 
for you get to kind of stuff, a, I don't know, a battery charger or maybe some personal effects in there. And then they give you another pocket that's close to your body. It's on the opposite side of that uh, document pocket I, I talked about. And you can put some more stuff in there as well. But I want to show you the actual shoes I have in this bag, man. Just remember, when I show you this, these shoes were in the bag with all those clothes. So first we have a pair of men's dress shoes in a size 12 size 12 dress shoe boom okay now i once i did not use a shoe bag because this is a specialized shoe compartment that is weatherproof or i should say weather resistant okay so it, that's okay don't be on my back but yeah size 12 and then this let me take this put it over there this is actually the bag that they give you like they give it to you it just comes with the set man they give you this shoe bag so you can put your little dirty, nasty shoes in here. And you can actually have, you actually got this uh, display window, which is nice. So you can see which ones they are. And then I open it up and this is a boot, dude. This is a boot. I had these boots in there, size 12, men's size 12 boot in that 40 liter compartment. That's unreal, dude. But this is the shoe bag, man. Nothing special about the material. It is kind of water resistant. Water's not gonna seep right through it. But if you end up throwing some nasty, muddy shoes in here, uh, you're gonna be well protected uh, as far as keeping your clothes away from all that nasty disease that you've introduced into the bag. But seriously, man, this bag is pretty doggone awesome. It's freaking huge. <laughs> All that stuff was in his bag, including two size 12 men's shoes. One of them happened to be a pair of boots. Now, I know a lot of you have seen the two bags on the internet between the older version and the newer version. Let me do a very, very quick comparison for you. Okay, when it comes to the shoe compartment, there is a huge difference here. So on the older bag, the entire like perimeter of the bag is the shoe compartment. So you just open the bag from the top, and then flap it open and then you slide your shoes in from a downward angle into the shoe compartment. The shoe compartment is actually the same size, okay? So you don't have to worry about the shoe compartment being a different size. It's just the way of access. So here you can see that the shoe compartment is actually a shoe compartment. It's just this, you know, it's a, it's it's lower. So now you slide your shoes in versus down and in. So now the shoes go straight in and they just they hang out in there, all those shoes. You can just put all those shoes in there. And the next big difference uh, that I can see, and there are actually no other differences than this, is the actual uh, leather material that they use. This feels like more of a leather material, and yes, it's a different color, and this is a very accurate representation of the color from what I'm seeing here in my camera. So this feels more like a pleather material, but it's, it's a nice soft touch, man. It's got this like suede stuff on the backside. It's a nice soft touch and I love the color, but if you prefer a darker brown, it's got that same leatherish uh, or suede new like, I don't know what that is, that's like raw hide, man. <laughs> they both have that raw hide feel on the back, but then this one has that, that un, unfinished leather. Like it can get scratched up and look awesome. I love this, I love it. But this one right here, the upgraded version, you're not gonna have those scratches because it's it's probably a more durable material or I don't know, man, either way, different colors and that is the differences between the bags. And then you have the handles which are constructed the same, just made out of different materials respective to each bag. But look, man, I ain't no expert on this kind of stuff. Wait a minute, I am an expert packer. Man, I be packing like a son of a gun and I love bags. So shout out to all my bag whores out there. Give me those emoji hands in the comment section. Be classy and I'll see y'all at the next one. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Is that why you are here?